Hi viewers, welcome to Ganesh's YouTube channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to explain you Tecla Structures requesting video on section view settings in drawing. Okay, let's start. Open Tecla Structures in Indian environment. Now I'm going to create column. So click on steel and select this column and click on here to place the column. Right click on mouse interrupt. Double click on this column to edit the settings. The property of this column now i'm going to change the bottom level here zero and click on modify and close it i'm going to create base plate at the bottom of this column so go to application competence by using the shortcut control f or you can directly click on here to open this application component window now i'm going to enter here 1042 base plate so click on it and click on this column and pick the position at gradient section point to create base plate at this location. Now close this window. Right click on mouse interrupt. Click on space, right click on mouse, redraw view. Now I'm going to create a drawing uh, for this column. So select this column, then right click on mouse. Before that, we're going to numbering here. So go to drawings and reports, and let's take perform numbering here and select this number modified objects to perform numbering and click on here to save number okay now i'm going to create this column fabrication drawing so select it select this column right click on mouse create fabrication drawing click on this create fabrication drawing to create drawing you can see by default here we have two types of drawings here a indicates the assembly drawing w indicates this single part drawing now i'm going to create two drawings so click on create Okay, now open the drawing list by using the shortcut control L. You can see now we have single part and assembly drawing here. For example, we're going to open this assembly drawing. So double click on this drawing to open. C1 assembly drawing. And close this window. You can see you'll get like this for example this is the default section view now i'm going to create once again this view so click on this view and click on delete and now i'm going to create section here so go to views click on views and click on here section and pick the first point here and pick the second point and pick the cutting box here cut box now click on here to place the section view you can see by default you'll get uh, like a general engagement drawing like grids here like this now in this drawing we don't have this holes also so I'm going to change this setting so you can see when you move the cursor nearby this section you'll get this rectangular box you can see then double click on this section view box then open the property window like this you can see You'll get this property window then at the top you can see by default you have standard now click on here and we need to take the section view property in this list for example let's take scroll it down and let's take this section option now directly click on modify to see the result here you can see you'll get like this still we have grids here now we're going to remove this grids. we don't record this grids then you can see in this list you need to select here grids option you can see click on this grids then you can see in under grid property here visible we don't require this grids so click on here and select this option not visible then click on modify to update like this okay now close this window click on ok to close this window Okay, again, if you want to change this property, then double click on this window, uh, this border. You can see currently we have here the property under the grids. So by default, view property, then click on here, view properties. Then you will get this section and uh, scale like this. For example, if you want to increase the scale, then enter here scale 20, then click on modify to change the scale like this okay 
for example if you want to increase the scale then enter here 1 by 15 then click on modify then click on ok like this for example you can see in this view we have scale is larger than this section so now go to check this scale then double click on this view you can see now we have scale 1 by 10 so we need to maintain same scale in the section also so double click on this border then enter here scale 1 by 10 then click on modify ok you can see you will get like this now coming to uh, this hatching if you want to remove this uh, hatching and this uh, center line then double click on this column now remove this center line option and hit uh, click on modify to see the result now we're going to remove this hatching so click on this fill and click on here and select none and click on modify you can see you'll get like this uh, coming to this title if you want to remove this uh, scale then double click on this uh, title or you can double click on this uh, border also to open this window property window like this now go to labels tab and uh, you can see uh, top of this line indicates the a1 you can see this top of the line a1 and uh, bottom of the line indicates the a2 uh, currently we don't require this a 1 is to 10 scale so under a2 option click on here and uh, we don't require scale so just remove and this one also we don't require so remove and click on modify apply ok to update like this now click on ok to create like this ok uh, if you want to create dimensions in section then go to dimensioning and select this horizontal and pick the first point and next point like this to place the dimension like this if you want to change this arrow style double click on it and go to appearance and click on here and select the shape and click on modify apply ok like this similarly you can uh, mention the dimensions in vertical and total length total width also if you required now coming here in the section if you want to change this arrow size then double click on it length for example we're going to take here length horizontal 5 and vertical also 5 this uh, tip uh, length lines then click on modify okay okay now coming to uh, this is we have distance at this location so if you want to move backward direction then double click on it then enter here for example let's take 3 click on modify okay now i want to change 4 click on modify apply okay Okay, now coming to this horizontal direction, you can directly move like this by using the mouse. Just click on it and drag left or right to adjust the arrows in horizontal direction. If you want to move vertical direction, you should double click on it and you need to enter here value. Negative value indicates the opposite direction and the positive indicates the up direction. Okay. Okay, that's it. How to change this section view properties uh, to see the exact section view properly like this okay that's it about it so ctrl s to save it drawing and close this window here okay that's it about how to change section view settings in drawing this is a requesting video so just i have explained only about uh, section view settings if you like this video please like it and share it for tech class structures requesting videos please join my channel the new sk youtube channel Okay, thank you.